Sunday, everyone. Our weather map for today shows high pressure in control of our neck of the woods. And that high pressure is surrounded by some unstable weather. For instance, we have some showers and thunderstorms in Florida, leading to some flash flood risk along the east coast there. Farther to the west, on the very western edge of this high, we see some uh, uh, snowflakes flying across portions of the Rockies and some raindrops dropping from in the valleys. And then across the Great Lakes region, we have a few showers as well. But all around this big dome of high pressure is beautiful sunny skies, just a few clouds from time to time. But those snowflakes flying out west are an indication of something that's coming down the line for us. And that's our first big fall cold front that will be arriving at the end of this coming week. <clears throat> Looking at our five-day forecast, we have mostly sunny skies today, Monday and Tuesday. Highs around 80, lows in the mid to upper 50s. Wednesday, we see a few more clouds floating across the sky. Highs continued around 80, lows in the upper 50s. And then on Thursday, clouds and sun, clouds start to thicken up, highs only in the mid-70s due to that cloud cover. And then by Thursday night, there'll be a chance for a shower. And then on Friday, a better chance for showers if we went beyond this five-day forecast. And then we'll see a strong cold front come through, and you'll have your first big taste of fall by next weekend. On this day in 1893, a second great hurricane, the second great hurricane of the 1893 season, hit the Mississippi Delta region, drowning more than 1,000 people. In 1987, a blast, listen to this, a blast of cold Arctic air hit the north central U.S. An afternoon thunderstorm slickened the streets of Duluth, Minnesota with hail and snow. And later in the afternoon, strong northerly winds reached 70 miles per hour. Our cold front at the end of this week isn't going to be quite that dramatic, but my goodness, you know, until you've weathered a winter in the upper Midwest or Northern Plains, I just don't know that you've ever really weathered a winter. You folks have a wonderful Sunday and keep looking up for even more weather information. Keep reading along that blog, meteorologistmark.com.